Welcome back students to the video lecture series. I am Adil Mansuri from Civil Engineering Department of LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In the previous video, we have discussed about the different methods of population forecasting. In this video, we will discuss the second method that is the geometrical increase method and some other methods for population forecasting. Okay, we have already covered the arithmetical increase method in the previous video. So let us move ahead. So the geometrical increase method. So in this method, the per decade percentage increase or percentage growth rate is assumed to be constant and the increase is compounded over existing population every decade. Okay. This method is therefore known as uniform increase method and it is similar to compound interest calculations that we used to do in the so next is this this method is suitable for a rapidly developing new city and in arithmetic method no compounding is done whereas in geometrical method compounding is done every decade okay so the assumed constant value of percentage growth rate per decade is analogous to the rate of interest per annum. Okay, so let us have a look at the uh, how the formula is derived. Okay, let P0 be the initial population and P1 be the population after one decade okay so there will be some percentage of increase right so let r be the percentage of increase right so therefore population after one decade will be initial population plus some percentage increase of initial population so this will be equals to p0 into 1 plus r by 100 okay similarly If I want to find out population after two decades, population after two decades, then P1 will be initial population. Okay. So therefore, what will be P2? P2 will be P1 into 1 plus R by 100. Agree? Now, what was P1? P1 was P0 into 1 plus R by 100. So this will be equals to P0 into 1 plus R by 100 into 1 plus R by 100. Right. So this will be equals to P0 into 1 plus R by 100 raised to 2. Okay. So in general, in general, we can say that population after n decade will be equals to p0 into 1 plus r by 100 raised to n agree so this is the equation of finding out population after n decades using geometrical increase method understood students So let us now move forward and solve one numerical. So find out the population in the year 2040 by geometrical increase method. So they have given data as 1960 they have given population 50,800 in 1970 69,200 in 1980, 9, 91,800. In 1990, 1,17,700. In 
in 2000 1,46,200 and in 2010 1,75,600 okay so let us find out the solution okay students so let us start with the solution so in the you have to make a table like this the first column will be year second will be population third will be increase in population and fourth will be percentage increase right so so here you have to write down the values 1960 1970 1980 1990 2000 and 2010 right so respective values that is 50,800 69,200 91,800 1,17,700 1,46,200 and 1,75,600 right so in this this will be total right so increase in population for the first year there won't be any increase right in the second value 69,200 minus 50,800 so this will be equals to 18,400 right then 91,800 minus 69,200 that will be equals to 22,600 similarly here 25,900 right then 28500 then 29400 right so total value will be 124800 clear so regarding the percentage increase what you have to do is this value divided by this value into 100 right so this will be equals to 18400 divided by 50800 multiplied by 100 so this value comes out to be equals to 36.22 percentage similarly these two value right so this will be 32.65 percentage similarly this two value then this two value and this two value clear so this will be equals to here this will be 28.21 percentage this will be 24.21 percentage and this will be 20.11 percentage so total comes out to be equals to 141.4 percentage right clear students so what we'll do next is We will find out the average okay so for average this will be equals to 1 2 4 8 double 0 divided by 5 and that will be equals to 24,960 and here this will be 141.4 divided by 5 so this will be equals to 28.28 percentage so this will be your r clear so let us recall the formula that is pn is equals to p0 1 plus r by 100 raised to n okay now coming back to the question we have to find out population in the year 
2040 and last population that we are given is 2010 right so here p0 will be equals to 2010 and pn will be equals to 2040 right so let us go ahead so in the in the year 2040 population p0 p0 was given as 175600 one plus r was given as r that we have already found out that is 28.28 divided by 100 raised to power how much n will be equals to 2040 minus 2010 that is equals to 3 right so n will be equals to 3 so this will be equals to 3 lakh 70681.88 so the population in the year 2040 will be equals to 3 lakh 70682 okay students so this is how the calculation for geometrical increase method is done okay so i hope you have got the clear idea okay okay students so let us now move towards the next method that is the incremental increase method okay so this method is the combination of both that is the arithmetic increase method and the geometrical increase method so from the data of census of the past few decades the actual increase in the decade is first found out okay then increment in increase for each decade is found out right and from these an average increment of the increase is found out which is known as incremental increase okay so the population in the next decade is found out by adding the present population to the average increase and the average incremental increase per decade okay so we will so you will get a better clarity when we solve the numerical okay so first let us know the formula so the formula is so the formula is pn equals to p0 plus ni plus n into n plus 1 by 2 into r1 where pn is population after n decades okay p0 is the initial population i is average increase and r1 is incremental increase okay so you note down this formula because with the help of this formula we are going to solve the next numerical okay so let us now start the numerical so the question is find out the population in the year 2000 and 2010 by incremental increase method so they have given that in the year population in the year 1960 the population is 7000 in 1970 population is 11000 in 1980 population is 16000 and in 1990 the population is 22500 right so let us start so you will have to make this table right so 1960 1970 1980 1990 okay population that is 7000 11000 16000 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22500 22
and 22,500, right? Then increase in population. So what will be the increase in population? First, there will be no increase. Here, this will be 11,000 minus 7,000. That will be 4,000 increase. Here, this will be 5,000 increase. Okay, and here it will be 6,500 increase, right? So let us make the total. Okay, so this comes out to be equals to 15,500. And talking about the average, okay, this will be 15,500 divided by 3 and that will be equals to approximately 5167, okay. Further, here we need to find out the incremental increase in population. So here this will, this will be dash. So for the first decade also there will be no value. Here the incremental increase will be 1000 and here the incremental increase will be 1500 okay so total will be 2500 and average will be 2500 by 2 that is equals to 1250 right so here this will be considered as average increase and this will be considered as incremental increase right so let us now find out the population in the year 2000 and 2010 so we know that the equation of incremental increase is pn equals to p0 plus ni plus n into n plus 1 by 2 into r1 right now we need to find out n right so for 2000 n will be equals to 2000 minus 1990 divided by 10 that will be equals to 1 right and for 2010 it will be 2010 minus 1990 divided by 10 that is equals to 2 right so therefore Moreover, we know that R1 that we have found out is 1250 and I that we have found out is 5167, right? So, for the year 2000, what will be P0? P0 will be 22,500, right? Plus N, N will be 1, I, I will be 5167 plus one into one plus one by two into r one that is one two five zero right so this comes out to be equals to twenty eight thousand five hundred and seventy okay similarly in the year two thousand and ten P2010 will be equals to 22,500 plus N will be 25167 plus 2 into 2 plus 1 by 2 into 1250. So this comes out to be equals to 36584. Okay. So therefore, answer will be population in the year 2000 will be equals to 28,970 and in the year 2010 it will be 36,584 okay so this is your answer I hope you must be clear with this method okay so in the next video we will see some more methods okay so that's all for today's video